Um, I've been a psychoanalytic psychotherapist for 25 years, and I have a metapsychological question about emotion. She has a, a, a question about emotion and psychology. Uh, that I think is really of profound consequence for uh, psychoanalytic theory and technique. That is very important to her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so eager to hear your response because I feel you're one of the world's great uh, intellects and intuitives in the field of emotion and affect and feeling. Um, do you think that there is a distinct, innate, primary set of eight to 12 emotional states, for example, fear, sadness, and anger, from which, Very through maturation, all of the other emotions differentiate and are derived. She is interested in your conventions of character and the different types of emotion that are prime to the human and how it expresses from those base seven, how they express out into other kinds of conventions of character Actually, of are there? Are there a Yes, there are. are uh -huh. That's <laughs> what I yeah. 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 Mind is not an art of movement. It's an art of attitude. What does it mean? Of course we make movements very much on the ground. We don't jump like the dancers. For instance, Todd has today shown a dance and mime included, but he learned at the school in mime as an actor, silent actor, came out. And when he, he danced, it was like contemporary dance, correct? He made yes. a synthesis. But in mime, when I play the conventions, let's say, anger, a convention comes from a sculptor like Rodin or Michelangelo, who could in one attitude express movement, even when it was immobile. And then I said to myself, okay, when you do, for instance, pride, what does it mean, pride? Pride, you are hurt, you can be poor, and the only thing left is dignity, and you have pride. When you have arrogance, I never make a mistake, arrogance. And when you have uh, vanity, mm. Mm -hmm. you see, and I remember when Mussolini was in power during the war, he had a march like this. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody was laughing at that time. <laughs> That's right. Well, you see, they have, these are attitudes. And when I say anger, it means this. And I say revolt, and this brings energy. When I say courage, fright, this you learn to be an actor because it comes from the chakra from here. I give a little example. The bullfighter, I don't know if you have seen on television bullfight. Today I am with a bull, not with the matador. But when I was 30 years old, I had a certain respect for the courage of the bullfighter. But today, of course, I'm, I am, as I said, on the side of the bull. <laughs> <laughs> but what I like in the matador, the way he, he enters for the bull, he is not a mime, but he, he was like a mime, because a bull, Hemingway wrote a book about bullfighting, and he said the bull has the force like a train. If he, if he touches the man, the man, it's a piece of paper. And then, of course, it's terrible, the encounter between a bull and, and the matador. Then he has to advance like this, you see? And he will do, hi, hi. He takes the weight of the bull. Imagine a bullfighter entering like this. <laughs> Everybody is laughing, of course. Then I said, aha, if you play a bullfighter, you have to have this dignity. And when they enter the march, you see, it's, it, it's a tragedy. In 20 minutes, the bull has to be killed. 20 minutes. 
And of course, well, but I say this because the conventions of character show 42 characters. I give an example. Let's say I have to express, I don't say you have to play like this when you do the Maimo drama because the, the man who directs it can change it. But the roots, you see, when you learn a language, you start a, a small phrase. A, B, C, D, E, F, small things. It's like an alphabet. And the conventions of character show the attitude. When I said revolt, or when I say jealousy, Here, here. It prepares the student to go deep in the, in the thought. And let me tell you another thing. When you enter a school mind, if you have no patience, if you don't look, if you are not, you say, oh, it's long, wow, what is it? Don't go to the school. There is a difficult, there is a great difference between entertainment and theater. Entertainment is passive, it's necessary to go, fine. But theater is also philosophical. It goes deep. I, I say the weight of the soul. And this is why. I think our art has become a strong art because it has survived now over 50 years. 